Yes guys, my name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. It is well and truly coming home season guys. England play Germany Tuesday at 5pm. I'm recording this on a Monday and I'm not sure if this video will be out before then. But please boys, bring it home, get past the Germans, on to the next stages and anything's possible. But in today's video we have got episode 7 of my Brentford Premier League Rebuild series. So if I remember correctly, it has been a few days since I've played this save. We ended up losing to West Ham in our last match. It was a bit of a shocker. Um, I'll quickly double check the calendar to see our previous results. Uh, I believe Jesse Lingard destroyed us. Yeah, that's correct. So in the cup, we clutched up against Arsenal. We beat Everton in the league, Brighton. Uh, but we do end up losing 3-2 to West Ham. So I believe that puts us at a comfortable third place. Joint on points in Manchester United, we are making waves at the moment, but we do need to start chaining some wins together if we actually want a chance at getting that Premier League title in this season. That is of course the aim, it is super ambitious, but that is what we're all about here up at Brentford. I have actually received a transfer offer for Fosu from Galatasaray. I actually might try and negotiate a deal here. I want to try and get as much money back in as possible for January, just to reinvest a little bit more to sure up my team, make sure I am ready for that final push. So I'll see what I can do. So 2.8 million accepted Galatasaray. Tariq Fosu is going to be your boy if you can agree a contract with the man. But game number one of the episode, I want to try and get at least three or four in this one. We've got Crystal Palace, they are sat 19th. Let's hope we can start off with a strong three points. So the team we're rocking going into this one, guys, Bebu and Ivan Tony up top. And Buomo comes in on the left, Pereira, Basuma and De Silva. And the back four, we've got Jurian Timber, the young Ajax lad. He is progressing very, very nicely in that right back position. Rika Henry, Janssen, Akpagomu. You heard it, man. Akpagomu, the German Nigerian animal. And then David Rea in goal, the best keeper in the league, in my opinion. It's definitely controversial. But Crystal Palace, Roy Hodgson's boys. Let's see what you got. Come on, boys. Let's try and get into this a little bit. And Buermo in a whole host of space. On the edge, Ivan. Little finesse, do you reckon? Ooh, definitely worth the effort. A little finesse with Ivan Tony almost breaks the net. We are scoring so many screamers. Normally it is big man Eves. Uh, he loves scoring a little worldie here and there, but Tony trying to get on the action. Pereira, you beauty. Eilis in the middle. Ooh, my. Boy, he has been missing some sitters for us this season, but he is not messing about with that one. That jump is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, that's great play. The boys, Eilis and Ivan linking up. We are dismantling Crystal Palace. 2-0, Eilis gets his second. It's a nice little give and go with big man Ivan. I'm enjoying this. I'm feeling good. Eilis Bebu is finding the back of the net once again. And it is the assist king, the goal scorer, turned assist creator, Ivan Tony. Ooh, Palace. Slowly starting to come back into it, boys. That is a... Is that a Davis attack? Just a really good save. But Rea, the boy, has glue on his gloves. Oh. Gucci sweatbands. That ball, that through ball from Mateus Pereira is absolutely sensational. And we need Eilers on good form. We'll get him his hattie. Sweatband central. No nonsense, guys. When it's there, let it be. All right, Eilers Bebu, 3 0. Crystal Palace, Roy Hodgson. Oh, we had to try to feed him out. Oof. The big captain. Quality challenge. Palace have looked a little bit lively the past few minutes, boys. Weather the storm, get the ball. Counter-attack FC, we all know the drill. Let's just try not to concede on this one, please. Willy Zaha is having fun with us. But Bajswai is being lethal since coming on. The man loves doing... Oh, no. I fluffed it, boys. I fluffed it. There we go. We get... Oh. We lose the clean sheet. Is it MacArthur? 
That's why he's come on, and this man loves a skill move. Honestly, every touch he gets, he's doing some madness. Nice bit of play for me, to be fair. Raya loses that clean sheet once again. One day, we will keep a clean sheet, guys. Mark my words. Oh, boys. Counter-attack. FC is our middle name. So that 4-1 win is big. It allows us to keep the pressure on Man City and Spurs ahead of us. And Tariq Fosu has joined Galatasaray. 2.2 million is allocated to our transfer budget, which means we are looking like we're going to have about 10 million to spend in January. Not a lot of money, considering the money we have spent throughout the season. Um, but we should be able to make something happen with that, I'm confident. We got a few players scouted already, and I do have my chief scout, Rib, on Twitter, who is sending me sensational targets by the day which I love to see, so keep that up, my son. But we do have some players that we probably could try and bring in. I would like to go back in for Thiago Armada, but he's a little bit more expensive now. He's getting a little bit higher overall. Uh, but we've got some quality targets. Nuno Tavares, Arsenal, actually linked with this man in the real world. A few of these players are somewhat on the cheaper side, which is probably a good sign. It'd be nice to bring in one or two players in January, just to fully strengthen the team as much as I can to ride on and see if we can clutch up a Premier League W. So game number two, we have another newly promoted side, Watford. They don't have the cycling GK in goal, which is a big mistake for them. They signed Cecina, I believe he's that Brazilian lad from the Chinese league. If I'm correct, that is sensational Ulmer team knowledge. Uh, he's got a team of season card, that's where it came to mind. But their team looks uh, pretty interesting. I don't know a lot of their players. Uh, a few of the recognisable players like Cleverly, Cathcart, Saar obviously in their team but we have rotated Longstaff comes in alongside Sambi Lakonga in the middle and Damari Gray gets the start at right mid fingers crossed for back to back three points guys let me know down below are we going to beat the mighty Watford let's find out Ishmael Saar looks absolutely rapid and the Watford boys they're starting strong once again jab back FC and of course the clean sheet is gone already one day one, actually, all I need is one clean sheet, guys, and I'll be happy. I'm not sure if I've got one all season. I must have. I must have at least kept the clean sheet at some point. But already we are 1 0 down. Watford has started lively. Ishmael Assar, the man is rapid. David Ryers did no chance, and we have a game on our hands. Oh, it's a lovely bit of play from the boys. Bebu in the middle. Yeah, as cool as you like. The man is scoring with his head as well. He's gone previous episodes, he's missed absolute sitters for us. But this one, he is coming in clutch. Tony is the assist king. Ishmaela, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, mate, the jab bat's not, that's, who is this guy? I've been well and truly shafted here, guys. Nice little give and go. The jab bat was not necessary. He gets a bit lucky. But Raya, got to be saving though. Oh, space, space. Watford boys, what's going on? Ivan Tony is scoring, that is what's going on. He gets his first of the episode. Watford are looking like the best team I've played so far, guys. I don't know what is going on. They look like the best team we have played. Honestly, I am getting absolutely destroyed. Every attack, every drive they have going forward. And Thomas has scored a second. I don't even know who Thomas is. And Wormo, there is space. My boy, Brian, smash that. Brian, always reliable, Brian and Buermo gets us back in the game. Free all. And Buermo's having a field day, guys. There's so much space. Ivan's in the middle, if we can pick him. The boys, the comeback is there. The Brentford lads and Buermo and Tony linking up beautifully and another header. This episode is full of them. And once again, he leaps like a Sam. And Buermo's got all the space in the world. Great ball in. Ivan Tony, this is a great little looping header in that far top corner. I love goals like that. And as I'm recording this, Croatia have just equalised free all against Spain. This Euros has been mental. This game's mental. The Euros is mental. Football is mental. Well, the money banded around Derek is about 40 million pounds, which is par for the course for this time. What a ball. Ivan. Oh, Ivan. That goal is sensational. The man was the assist maker in the last game, but that is a dainty little ball from Bebu. And what a finish. The acrobatic bicycle kick lob, whatever you want to call it. Ah, oh, Ivan, Tony, my boy, take a bow, 5-3, we're in the driving seat. 
just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from the Premier League. And he's broken free. In it goes. He's Mate, this guy is lethal. Cecina is absolutely lethal. Oh, boys, no, not now. Not now. Akpagomu. No! I can't believe it. What have I just seen? I should have just hoofed it out. Five or four. Agbagomu had the ball, but for some reason, there's some juju going on there. He's almost just cha cha slid, uh, slid around it. And that man, Cecina, has been an absolute nightmare. So, guys, I have spent 800 thousand pounds where I could buy in about one million on bringing in Mr. Igor Maximov four star experience three star judgment to see if we could find a little hidden gem uh, on the build up to the end of this season I'm confident the man the Russian guy is going to pull a madness but until then we've got another 20th place side so Watford with that draw have leapfrog Villa so we play I believe the bottom bottom three Crystal Palace at one stage were 19th Watford and Aston Villa, we play them all in today's episode. Five all in the last game, I can't believe it. We're going to rotate the team a tiny little bit and then we're going to hop into the game. So game number three against Aston Villa, they've still kept hold of Jack Grealish. Fulgini comes in at Cam, I'm unsure on who that is. And the rest of the team looks like their normal team, minus Wendell, I believe he's the Leverkusen lad, the Brazilian boy at left back. We're bringing in Robinson for this one, and Buermo and Cherki are starting either side, and Rika Henry is going to start at right back. Apart from that, guys, we need three points. No more five-all, David Rea clean sheet, please. Can he make a count? Oof, Still a chance. Emmy saving that, mad. We look live with the early doors there, Anthony Robinson getting a little, uh, little dig at goal there. I'll tell you what though, being an Arsenal fan, I just really want to score against Emi Martinez. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, David! Rea makes a save. Guys, is this going to be the game? Is the clean sheet on the horizon? The pace of Anthony Robertson carrying that ball forward. Just part it away for him. Keep going, lad. Ivan! We take those. We take those any day of the week. The run to Membuermo and Eilis Bebu pulling defenders all over the place. Anthony Robertson has kept on going. The man gets his start and he lays it off to Al Phenomena. Mr. Clinical himself, Ivan Tony. I think we got it. Eves just hit it. I'm out, I'm out. This guy is well and truly taking the mickey. What is that for a goal? Yves Bissouma scores a worldie every episode. That's his best one. Mental. Mental. Alright, Shirky is in space. Run, my boy. Light the wind. Keep on going. Drive it home. Emmy. The guy's a unit, but the pressure, the pressure, Ivan, Eves. I should play this, why am I not playing this guy up front? No way, what? Ivan Tony, what even is that? So damn close. That would be the most crazy goal I have seen on FIFA 21. And we've got East Basuma in our team, so we've seen a many a crazy goal. Oh, that's a great bit of play. David again. Rea, he has heard our, he's heard our play. We want a clean sheet. That's all we want, guys. And David Rea is pulling off saves like that. Oh, the ball from Ivan Tony, The finish from the super sub, Damari Gray. And that is game, set, and match. But the scoreline doesn't matter, but it does. Because we cannot concede in this game. I need a David Raya clean sheet. David, it's beautiful. My boy, we have four minutes. Less than that. One minute plus added time to not concede David. Say it ain't so. 
make it happen. No. And there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? So close. David Raya, so close. He got a strong hand to it. Should he have saved it? Probably. But a clean sheet dream. It's not what is happening, boys. So it well deserved three points to end off this episode. That is two wins and one mental draw. Uh, five ball, it ended, and we finished the episode second. So we've actually managed to leapfrog Spurs. They do have a game in hand on us, and we are leveling points. But we need to figure out a way to keep a clean sheet because I am struggling right now. We're scoring goals, but we're also conceding goals. As you can see, 53 scored, 28 conceded. We've got to have a top goal scorer. It's got to be Bebu or Tony. We've got two of them. Tony's on 21 goals already, and Bebu's on 13. I will go into like an in-depth squad hub um, to see how the boys are progressing in next episode, guys. But that is where I'm going to end this one. I hope you have enjoyed. Spain have just scored five. They are 5-3 up against Croatia, so they will be progressing unless Croatia pull off an absolute madness. But anyway, I've been Morsi. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Please do let me know down below who you think I should look to sign come the January transfer window. I'll catch you very soon for another one. Take it easy.